senior political correspondent Ayo Zubaku standing by to feed us more with what is happening where he is in Oshun. Go ahead, Ayo, with more updates. Yes, Veronica, I'm somewhere around Ilubu. Ilubu is uh, in record local government and um, is a, a part of the central senatorial district. And this Ilubu is where we have the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. That is Honorable Lasu Yusuf. This is his polling unit. Earlier, he just exercised his franchise at this uh, polling unit and he's here to talk with us. Nice to have you here, Honorable Lasu Yusuf. Thank you very much. Nice having me too. All right. How will you describe the process? How long did it take you to actually cast your votes? Of course, I have to say this to Nigerians. When I came about uh, some 35 minutes ago, I just went straight to the, to the uh, polling units, and uh, I was accredited, and thereafter I voted. It did not take more than five minutes altogether, just because the people in the queue gave me the opportunity to take that precedence. So it didn't take more than five minutes to do. And I want to emphasize this. Since the first time in 1979, when I left secondary school, and I've always been voting here, there has never been any negative incident. It's probably one of the most peaceful police units you can ever find anywhere. These particular police units have been voting here since 1979, when I left secondary school. And it has always been very peaceful. No negative incident, and I'm, I can assure you, the same thing is going to repeat itself today. And of course, we hold this environment. Talking in terms of holding this environment, have you been getting reports from other polling units and it has been... It's, it's early in the day. You begin to get reports towards 1, 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the, the voting process is winding down. Though people have been calling me all over the state, but I won't, I won't particularly put my fingers on those as reports of what has been happening yet. But by 1 p.m., stroke 2 p.m., then definitely we'll be having reports from uh, other police throughout the states. A lot of people will see, say that they don't actually have a clear picture where you belong. Of course, me belong. I'm a member of our progressive congress, and I'm the sitting deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, and I contested the primary of all progressive congress. Though, despite the fact that the big wigs of the party worked against me. I never minded. I still stay in the party. You win some, you lose some. But I just hope that is not going to impact negatively on our party. How can you be doubting my membership of all progressive Congress? At close to 60, if I want to take a decision, I can take a clear court decision. So if I had wanted to leave since July 20, when we had our primary, I would have left. But there's no reason for me to leave because I have been contesting in the Progressive Party for a very long time, and it's going to be like that for a long time to come. So why you will be deducting my membership of the party? And in fact, if it's not going to amount to campaigning, I've actually exercised my franchise and I've voted for my party. So how can you be doubting my membership of the party? It's only because people are hypocrites and blackmailers. Those who are doubting my membership of this party are those who don't even have the clout at all to push the party forward, either the traditional, political, or normal relationship in the party that can move people into the party. So I'm, I'm a member of APC. No, talking about the election proper now, when you see the level of preparedness of INEC, when you see the, the new things they've introduced, when you compare it to what happened in 2015, you voted here in 2015, and have you seen any kind of improvements, significant improvements? No, when you want to ascribe the improvements we have in our electoral process to INEC alone, it is unfair on the people. It is the Nigerian populace that have been well educated about voting election process, and they are now at that level where you don't need too much education to get them to the polling unit for them to exercise their franchise. I won't ascribe the level of improvement in our electoral process to the INEC. It's the people. You must give it to the people. They are, they are getting accustomed to how voting is being done and what they should do, and that is exactly what they are doing. And so it's not, it's not on the INEC alone. What have, they, what have they done differently from 2015 that will now begin to say INEC has improved on the voting process? No, it's not. It's the people that we must give kudos to 
for understanding in the last almost 20 years now that we have started this republic, people have gotten accustomed to what they should do, and that is exactly what you are, they are doing. And if nobody comes to come and, you know, cause violence, everything is going to go peacefully. Nigerians are becoming aware every day and becoming more enlightened about what their votes are all about. Um, thank you. Thank Honourable you Deputy Speaker, okay. I wish you the best of luck. That the Honourable Speaker of the House, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, that is from this um, town, they call this town Ilobu, here in Irekwadu, local government, and is the central senatorial district in Oshu State. And um, from Ilobu, we'll be handing you over, taking you back to Lagos. Veronica, over to you. Thank you, Aya, for that update. We move on now with the